Hello, hello, oh, hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. So I'm doing something different for uh, my channel. You wouldn't see me do this much, but I'm going to be doing Gorilla Tag Fan Game Tutorials. You know that game where you're a monkey and you swing about in trees? I'm going to be doing tutorials for them because I have a lot of people always asking me how I made my game. And I'm al I always try and tell them and they don't understand, so... so we're just going to tell them to. Okay, so first of all, you need to boot up Unity. You're going to make sure your, your version is on 2021 point, and then anything above that, as long as it's 2021 something, I think that should be fine. Next thing you want to go do is want to name your project. I'm just going to do this tutorial game. Yeah, we can just do tutorial game for now. That should be alright. You think so? Yeah, I should, will do tutorial game. Hit create project in the bottom right corner, and wait for it to load. Oh, also make sure the game that you're making is a 3D core. So when you go to make a game, you can select 3D and make sure it's on 3D. Okay, and after um, a while, it can take ages to load, so please do deserve that. You should be greeted with this. So if if Unity does tell you to update, you can, but don't for this tutorial, because you need to be in this version. Okay, the first thing you want to do is main camera. See this main camera up in your hierarchy? You want to delete it, but you can just hit delete on your keyboard or whatever. Alright, go to edit, project settings. Go down to XR Plugin Management, hit Install XR Plugin Management. Something should load here, just let it load. Once it's loaded, it should just say this. So you want to go and click Open XR right here. After that loads, this should pop up. Um, you don't have to do it, so I'm just going to click X. But uh, if you really want to, you can. That doesn't make a difference. Sorry for the confusion guys, but some of these next few clips might be voiced over because I was getting so many discord pings in this video I forgot to mute them Once this is down downloaded go to open XR down in the left corner go to the monitor change single pass to multi pass And then where it says interaction profiles you want to click on plus go valve index controller and oculus touch controller now go over to Android, go to single pass and in instancted slash multi view and change it to multi pass multi pass and add a Oculus touch controller. Now I go back to XR plugage management and hit Oculus. Okay, once that loads down in your bottom left corner here, you should see Oculus. You just want to open this up. I go to here where it says single pass instacted, change it to multi pass. Go to the Android one where it says multi view, change it to multi pass. And make sure you have low overhead mode turned on. It's as simple as that. Okay, the next thing you need to do is go to window. Go down until you see package manager. Just boot this up. Then go to plus. Add package from get URL to com. Okay, spell it exactly like as shown on screen. And just hit add. A few things should load. Also, guys, disturb those annoying ass Discord noises. I turn them off. So sorry if like the first half of this video is going to be super, super irritating because that Discord noises. There's this stupid Discord I'm in for these scripts for Gorilla Tech, uh game. No, for Gorilla Tech script, and the server is so annoying. It's actually irritating, but it's okay. After this is done, it says this project may complain, may contain blah blah blah. Just hit. I made a backup. Go ahead and see if. Now basically what this is going to do is it's just going to reload everything, it's okay, it's not going to like delete your game. Now once this is done, just hit here where it says samples, starter assets, hit import, and it's going to load something else. Sorry for all the loading, but just, if you want your game, you're going to be dedicated like, so if you stop halfway through this video, you get good. Okay, now once that's done, you want to click off here, and if it hasn't brought you to this folder already, I'll just go over it from the top so you guys know. Okay, so basically at the side of your screen here, it says Assets. Click on Assets. Go to Samples. XR Interaction 2.2.0. Starter Assets. And it should bring you into this page. Now, all these little, like, electrical things. Uh, I actually don't know what they are called. But just all these, all these like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All these things. You want to click on them up in the top right. Hit Add to Action Based. Add to Action Based. Add to Action Based. Add to Grab Movement. Add to action based, add to grab movement, add the action based snap, and then add the X U of that input mode, blah blah blah. Now, once you're done that, you can just click here. Now, there's literally like, very little more stuff to do. Hit edit, uh, go down to you find project settings, go to preset manager, and then here where it says action based controller, it should be like the third one down, where it says 
XRI default right controller, just type in right with no spaces, no capitals, nothing, and then left for the one underneath it. And then once you close it to that, that should be everything set up now for you to make a map. But before we go ahead and do make a map, we're going to import the actual gorilla rig. So, oh, did not mean to add that, so good. Uh, by the way, guys, sorry for the plug, but go download Background VR. It's a game I'm working on. Okay, once this is done, this is going to act as our floor. In the description, you should have like a Google Drive link for a Unity package. It's it's the Gorilla Locomotion. It basically makes it so you can actually walk. You want to go and download that off the Google Drive and then repeat after me. Go back to Assets. I'm going to make a new folder for this. So this is how you make a folder. You right click, create folder, and I'm just going to name this folder Packages. Uh, now, oh, whoops. If we go into our packages folder, you just go right click in the folder, hit import package, custom package, and then look for the thing you downloaded. I'm going to already have it since I've downloaded loads of stuff, but if I look for it, there is Gorilla Locomotion, so I already have it. If I hit open, it will just import it into here for me. It should say something like reload. Just do it, but just in case you do do this, it will get rid of of um your everything you've added i forgot to say that so if you just went ahead and built them up why would you do it anyway <laughs> anyway next thing you want to do is i'm just gonna remake my floor real quick it was like that size right okay you want to look for the thing called resources and i'm just gonna drag it into my packages folder if i go to packages resources gorilla preference by the way, you won't have the packages folder, I just made it, so just go to resources, gorilla preference, and grab this thing called gorilla rig and just drag it into your game. So this is going to be your uh, player. So whatever size this is, you can mo make it the size of the map, or however big you want it to be, this is the size of the player. Now since my map is looking really plain, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a few uh, materials. So I'm going to go in here, do create. Uh, folder and call it materials okay so there's two different ways you can make materials so there's the basic material so to make a normal material you just right click create go down to material and then up here you can change what color you want so say green for grass we can just set that like that and drag it in as you see we've got grass but obviously this doesn't look the best so I'm gonna go and get some just grass off internet and show you how you make it a material I open my browser up here real quick and I go up to the top. I can just do like quickly get some gorilla tag grass texture. I'm just going to quickly search it up. Okay, I've just went ahead and went online, grabbed myself a few um, things, a few. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to delete this material because I'm not going to be using it again. Sorry about this flooring being purple. That's just what happens when you delete materials. But you're just going to download any images. I'm sure you guys know how to download images. Don't be stupid. Okay, you want to go into import new asset when you have got your image. So you want to right click, hit import new asset, and then click on it. And then you want to select your things you're going to use. I got these two, so I'm just going to click import. And then when you're here, right click, hit create. Do uh, material. I'm just going to call this material grass. Okay, and then you want to right click here. You want to hit create. And hit material and just call it stone. Now, if we go to grass, if we go to the grass material, we can drag this photo up to the material and put it over albedo. This basically means that the grass will become the texture. So if I drag this on here, look, we've got a grass texture that looks so much better. Um, by the way, see this directional light. Do not get rid of it, or your game will look dark. Unless you're wanting like a scary game, like backroom. Okay, I'll stop the plugs. I'll stop the plug. Right. Next, we're going to make some simple walls. So, let's see, you can make your own walls. You can make them as detailed as you want. I'm just going to make the most ugly looking walls you've ever seen in like five minutes. Okay, guys, I did not know why, but I've chose the most weird and funny looking material ever but we're going to use it anyway so i'm just going to call this wood and as you guys know right click import new asset and then click on the th the wood you want to import and then drag this up to albedo and now we have our texture so this looks absolutely disgusting but it's okay 
And guys, if you do want at least some shadows in your game, you can just go to uh, shadows, do soft shadows. They look good. If you do hard shadows, it just makes like no difference at all. But as you know, I'm going to do no shadows just because it looks best. Um, This is what the goofiest wood texture in my life I've ever seen looks like. But we're going to keep it anyway. Now, I, I'm just going to duplicate this to save time. If you want to duplicate, you just do Control c Control v It's saving me time from having to copy everything over. I got a question. Are you really silly? Really silly? Really silly? Really silly? Yes. Watermelon. Because I'm feeling the... I don't know why. Alright, off the map, you don't have to do these, but I just prefer doing these. So go to 3D object, sphere. Uh... You want to add a component. Make the component a thing called an audio source. Now what you want to do is you want to go to here. I'm just going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it music. And you go into here. Go to import. Import new asset. And in here you can pick your music. Just download any. I'm just going to pick one. Guys, you won't believe what music I picked. Listen. Okay, that's the music we're going to be using. This is going to be irritating. Okay, so you want to go into the sphere. Drag your music to audio clip. Uh, make sure it's on loop. Play on awake. And the volume's max. Depends how loud your music is. Once you're done, just remove the mesh renderer. So then it doesn't uh, appear when you're outside the map. So I'm just going to rename this to speaker for now because I like the speaker that plays on music. Okay, I'm gonna finish making my map and I'll let y'all know. Okay, I think this is enough obstacles just for this tutorial since it's just a tutorial game. But you may be also thinking like yo, purr, what if I want trees? I'm gonna show you a quick way to get trees without leaves. You can make leaves yourself, but I'm just gonna do like you know in Gorilla Tag when they don't have leaves sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a leaf uh you no know, a tree texture real quick. And for the last time and I mean like the last time I will be showing you how to import uh, image as a material again. So you can just import your image. Do right click, hit create. Go down, click material. Just I'm just going to name this to oak. And then drag your thingy that you want into albedo. Right, top right corner, 3D object. It says tree, just click on the tree. It should load and then this should spawn in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, these next... So these things never have a thing called a mesh render and you need to add one. So you need to this this is gonna be open for you, just close it by clicking this little arrow. Go down, hit add component, mesh collider. It basically means that your tree will actually be able to have collision, so if you touch it, you won't go through it. If I dra drag the oak texture onto this, as you see it looks like your very ordinary lo goofy looking tree. And we're just gonna make these look more tree like by adding we copying this, shrinking it, and adding wee branches off the sides. Ta-da! After adding a few more branches, this will look like this. You can just modify this in however way you like and not make every branch the same size like I did, but I think it looks half alright. Also, for all these other obstacles, I'm just going to change it to this texture because honestly it looks so much better. Oh, where's my map? Also, if you want to if you want to change multiple things, or multiple textures at once, you have to click on this. Select them all and drag this into here. Now as you can see though, we got all these wee tree bits, so just make an empty parent. Name this tree, and now we can start making a bunch of different trees. Okay, to make all these different trees, we have to copy and paste them, and since our whole thingy is on the same level, we can just copy and paste them everywhere without having to worry if they're above the ground or not. Wait, look at our map. Now we can just hit this play button at the top here to test it ourselves. So let's check how the game looks. Yep, as you can hear, there's Maxwell. And here's our player. If you don't want to see this stupid camera logo, you can just hit this button up in the corner. But remember, it's uh, if you want to walk while you're in like play mode on your PC, you just have to open Gorilla Rig. Gorilla player, click on your hands and you'll be able to move them. I'm going to do it in game.
No, this part doesn't really matter, but if you really are desperately wanting a a head on your character already, it's kind of early for one, but here's how you do it. Do is go into wherever you put your resources gorilla preference. Gorilla rig boost boot open gorilla rig. Now if you make sure you have this thing turned on so look when you click on this you can't see anything but if you click me and camera you can see everything. So this is where the head's gonna be, so this is where we're gonna make our base head. Oh whoops, I can close it. So if you really just wanna have a head so it's not plain, you can just right click 3D object sphere. Uh bring it up close. Make sure that it doesn't have a collider or your whole game will get skadoodled. A main camera, and you want to try and line the main camera and the sphere up as best as they can. As you can see, I'm nearly there. That's good. And if you want your guys to have eyes, I'll show you in a minute how to make good eyes. Now, I, if you want these to be a different color, See, I'm going to do grey, I'm just going to change them in here. And then, to add eyeballs, this is how I do my eyeballs, you can do them any other way, but it's up to you. I, first of all, I go into, right click, 3D object, make a quad. Now, I bring the quad forward, the quads have like, a barrier on one side and not on the other. So... You want to make a quad. Make sure it's on the side that actually has like detail on it. That's not like the plain side. Bring it up to your player. Like to where you want it. Make it small. You're going to position these where you want your eyeballs to go. As you can see here, if I add a, I'm going to make a new material, I'm going to go create material, and we're going to name it, name your material, quad, because I'm going to be coloring the eyes with this, so I'm going to grab and change it to black, color the eyes with this. Now, as you can see, the eyes will be kind of off the head a wee bit, but it's okay. This is just a starter thingy anyway. If we go to the sphere and the quad and we make them all into one big group, we can just call this head mo model. Drag the head model into main camera. It has to be main camera. And make sure everything doesn't have collision. You want these mesh colliders turned off, these box, these spheres, these capsules, all the colliders turned off. And then once we go off, save, play. <laughs> want to add a body to your player model now you can just skip this bit because I know this video is gonna be like 30 minutes long but this is what you do so you want to go to your um, go to your gorilla rig yeah go to your gorilla rig and oh that's fear that's fear head model's a bit wonky right you want to go and Copy a sphere. No, yeah, you need to copy the sphere. I'm just gonna copy the sphere and make sure it's still under main camera. And you just wanna size this to what a body looks like. I don't know what a body looks like. As long as they're the same height, it should work. Does See it like that. If I go to this, hit save. If I play the game now. Now with this done, all we have to do is build the game, which is finishing it. So what you want to do to build your game is go to File, Build Settings, and then when you're in Build Settings, hit Player Settings, and then here go to Android, Other Settings, No. Show me. 
I'm gonna go to Android, Publishing Settings, Key Store Manager. I'm gonna just hit Key Store, Create New, Anywhere, and just hit Enter. Now this is where you make your password for your game. I'm obviously not gonna show my password because it's gonna get leaked, but basically these two, just name it your password. Your alias, just set it to like your name or something and then the password and that's it. And it says key power created in user, key store, just blah, 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 just hit yes. It, like it doesn't matter, just hit yes. And once you're done, you can exit out of that, go back to build settings. Up here where it says this, just hit, hit ASTC, where it says run device, all compatible devices, and hit switch platform. Just wait for this to load. Okay guys, once you've done switching platforms, you can just qu you can just hit build. But before I want to build, there's something I want to teach y'all to do. You don't have to do it, but it's one of the best parts of a girl type fan game. A, uh, a mirror, so you can see what you look like. So to make a mirror, it's not really confusing, but I guess. Right, so we want to do add a cube, walls. Uh, make it like this size. And this, I'm gonna texture it to be the oak. And we'll do the old wood actually, since it's unused. Right, you wanna copy this. The one that you copied, make it smaller. Bring it forward. So if you get what I mean, it's just like peeking. If you look closely, I'll just put this on it so you can see. It like peeks over. So what you wanna do is this one, that, that like the black one. You wanna right click on it. Hit camera. You, you don't have to name this anything, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, to make sure this camera's at the right area. Okay, what you can do is when you look at the camera, as you can see, it's not facing the right way, so you can just spin it around so it faces the right way. Now, what you need to do next is we're going to build a thing called a render texture. The thing we're going to do next is we're going to add a render texture. Texture. <laughs> right, so you want to do right click, hit create, do a folder, call it render tex textures. Yeah, render textures. Right click, uh, no, double click on it, hit right click, hit create, go down to render texture and just name it main mirror or whatever you want to name it, it's up to you. Click on the camera, it's up in your top left. Uh, you want to drag main mirror or whatever you call it, your render texture onto target texture and then drag the main mirror onto the actual mirror. And as you can see, it's right there. So this is what our game looks like. So we're gonna go up to file, build settings, and hit build. Just name this is you're gonna name your game. So this is what's gonna show up in people's Oculuses when they download it. I'm just going to name it to tutorial. Just hit save. And then hit save again and then this whole loading thing will happen but once that's done you have the apk and i will sh teach you how to side load the apk in this exact video i know this video is going to make 40 minutes long but it's going to be a good one i promise you so i already have sidequest installed so what i can do is i can just go into here search up sidequest and hit open once you go into sidequest this is what you need to do go to your top right you need to log in first go to your top right go to things i created Hit create an app, and then this is where you're gonna name it. So I'm just gonna do tutor tutorial game package name. You can just make something up. Do like I don't know. This is for like websites and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna do tutorial game dot co dot uk. Actually, I don't think you can do spaces, so I'm just gonna do like that in between them. Su summary. You can say this is a crappy tutorial game. You can actually try with this, but I'm not going to. So then once you're done, you'll be brought to your games page. You need to go down to download URLs, click add, upload an APK file, and you need to find your APK file, mine's tutorial game, do tutorial.apk, hit open, add, and wait for this to load. No, but seriously, for the last time, guys, go check out Backroom Run VR. It's like a Backrooms Gorilla Tag movement game I'm making with my friend L Plays. It's actually really fun. Uh, if you don't know what the Backrooms is, it's like this whole like it's this whole thing. You should look it up. I'm not going to explain, but it's like horror. Uh, it's got story. It's got cosmetics. It's got music. Everything. It's so fun. Okay, now once you're done that, you just need to hit Save App. Go into here. Hit My Apps. And then here we'll say tutorial game. Just click into this. 
And now if you actually want to download this onto your Oculus, you will need to plug in your Oculus to your PC. So you need to make sure your Oculus is turned on and you have a USB plugged into your computer and then you want to plug it into your Oculus. Once you hear that bum, 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 and you see the Oculus logo up in the top left, that means you've done it. Also, by the way, if you don't have developer mode turned on, you won't be able to do this. So turn on developer mode in your Oculus. And I'm not telling you how to do that. Don't even hold your hand. Or hit download app, side load. It should download on your Oculus. It does it super fast. And yeah. And there it says tutorial game. Made with Unity. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey. Look, everything's climbable like Gorilla Tag. Everything here is climbable like Gorilla Tag. Look. Oh, by the way, guys, this is what the player model looks like if we go over to the mirror. Look! It does look kind of goofy because we didn't even really...